Hey guys, so. Finally got my package from Chamberlain Coffee. I ordered it so long ago. I'm gonna do like a story time and like a review of everything. I'm gonna cover all the bases. I'm gonna talk about why it took so long to get here because I was planning on being like one of the first people to fucking film this video and- Let me get the emails ready. So I ordered it on December 22nd and then on December 24th, two days later, I got an email that it shipped, including a tracking number. And it said it should arrive in the next day or so. So I'm like, oh my coffee is about to be here. Then I didn't get an update for six days. And then on December 30th, I got an email saying they basically didn't expect there to be that many people buying, which like, okay. But like, I feel like she has a lot of followers. So maybe like you should expect that with like so many people that watch her. I don't know, but. I also understand that it's a new business and they have to work out all the kinks and everything, but. Yeah, just wanted to say that I understand that and that obviously it's not going to be perfect the first release. And they said that they sold out of mugs and there's a brief delay in my order. And my order was one of the first. And then it said, good news is that they will be ready early next week. So please expect your order to ship before January 13th. So I was expecting it, which is like still like 14 days later after that email. And so I'm expecting it to ship on the 13th. And then I sent an email saying, basically like I got an order saying it would ship before January 13th and it didn't. So I was wondering where my order was. And then they sent an email saying they were sorry and they didn't expect the volume of mugs again. And then they said, the good news is that I have flagged your order to ensure that in fact it will ship by the end of this week. We so appreciate your support. And that was on December 12th. Or sorry, January 20th that I got the email. And I emailed them on the... Sorry, I'm getting confusing. I emailed them on the 16th. They emailed me back four days later telling me when my order was going to ship. I didn't think it was going to ship out in that time frame. And it kind of didn't because it said end of the week, which was the 25th. But it shipped out like the next two days. So like it's not that big of a deal. It wasn't that far after. But it still was a little after. So I mean, their customer service was like decent because they like emailed me telling me that my order was delayed and then emailed me back so they had good decent customer service because they were like keeping me updated kind of but at the same time they were telling me things that weren't true that weren't gonna happen because it didn't ship out i don't know why they sent me a shipping email like two days after i ordered and i'm assuming they printed my shipping label and then just never shipped it out for that long because they didn't have any mugs but yeah they just kept telling me like i said it It'll be here in a day or so. And then it'll be there by January 13th. And then it wasn't. And then it'll be here by this day. So it was just a lot. It was a lot of waiting. It, it was over a month of waiting. So basically it didn't come because of the mug. I'm unboxing it right now, by the way. This is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so it's a different brand of mug. Does it have her stuff on it? So they basically just took a different branded mug. Okay, yeah. So they basically took a different branded mug and printed her logo on it. I really don't know what I expected. I, like, did I expect them to completely create their own mugs? I don't know. Like, obviously they didn't. I don't know. Which I guess is, like, not that big of a deal. But, like, I don't see why it took so long if they just were printing it on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a business owner, so I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of tiny. Not that small, actually. But for coffee, it's a good size. But if you wanted to use this for something else... It stinks a little bit. Then I wouldn't because it's a little small, but it's stainless steel. It says cold for 24 hours and hot for 12 hours. So that's pretty great. Pretty good quality. The brand is that. I don't know what that says. <clears throat> and then a bunch of coffee. I expected them to be smaller, like tea bag sizes, but they're actually kind of big. I'm really excited to try this. I actually like these colors. I didn't think I was gonna, I don't like the colors of that. Like just the logo. They're just not my favorite colors, but I like the color of the bag. So it says Chamberlain Coffee Steeped Coffee Bag. Tasting notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts. Countries of origin, Colombia, Guatemala, and Nicaragua. Sorry, that took me a second. Medium roast, freshly ground, nitro sealed. This is actually a really cool concept. I think it's cool. Made using renewable and compostable materials. I don't think the price is like that much. Like it is more expensive, obviously, than buying like a bag of coffee grounds. But it is cheaper than getting a coffee. A little bit cheaper than getting a coffee. Sorry, my camera ran out of space. I don't think it's that bad though because it's like convenient because you can take these with you wherever and like make them like if you go on vacation you can just take these and make them in like your hotel room and shit but i think it's pretty cool because that's cheaper than going out and buying coffee but it's all up to your preference and like what you prefer to be quite honest 
And that smells really good, actually. Oh, I'm just gonna open it because not to make coffee anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Waffle smells that he's over here sipping it. I wanna see what the bag looks like inside. Okay, that's cute. It's like a little tea bag. It smells really good. Ooh, it's really strong. So basically, what I'm gonna do is a cold brew right now from her recipe, her cold brew recipe, because I don't, I like hot coffee, but I'm not gonna make that. I'm gonna make cold coffee. And it has to sit overnight, so I'm gonna make it now and then let it sit overnight. Oh, by the way, I ordered the bundle, which is like the mug and then 10 coffee bags, so I have like a lot of coffee right here, but I wonder how long this will last me. I'm excited. I, I hope it's really, really good. I really do. This is so delicious. And I'll also review the mug and see if it really does the job. Yeah, rap too loud. What's that sound? This is the getting out of the job, but the email. Good morning, my name is Tokyo. I've been watching TikToks all day. Let's go make the cold brew. I don't know why I didn't just put that in the box. Oh shit. Good morning, my name is Tokyo. I'm gonna use this thing. You gonna rinse it out? Don't look at it. I'm gonna use this thing because I don't know where a big mason jar went, so I'm not gonna be a trendy, but it's fine. Oops. Okay, let's Google her recipe. Oh, by the way, the bundle was $45 plus $5 shipping, so it was $50 for everything. How to brew. Emma's favorite cold brew. You'll need three Chamberlain steeped coffee bags. Here we go. A large mason jar. We don't have a large mason jar, but I have this instead. Hopefully it works. We'll see. 600 milliliters of filtered water. We got 600 mLs. Oh wow, that looks like nothing in this spot. Like if I had a mason jar, I'd probably be almost full. But the shit, like are we sure it's 600? I did 600, but like it's not really a lot. Okay, place three coffee bags into mason jar. I'm supposed to put the coffee bags in first, but it's fine. We're just gonna do 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 put all three in. And then what we're gonna do is place it in the fridge overnight. Unfortunately, that's pretty cool. I really wanna taste this shit. I've been waiting over a month and I wanna taste it, but I have to wait. 24 hours, not 24 hours, 12 hours. This is so strong. You can definitely tell there's different flavors in this sheet. Our coffee bags, oh shit, are in the water. I'm gonna like submerge them so that they can fully saturate. Now we're gonna put the lid on and then, oh no, oh no. We're gonna put it in the fridge for overnight. And is there something in my hair? I think that's it. And I gotta wash this. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I really hope this is good, or my hopes and dreams will be let down. Both of the pups are looking at me. Pupper number one looking at me. Pupper number two looking at me. One, two, one, two. So, just got home, and I look gross. And I'm going to taste test the coffee. So, I went to Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks, and I got their cold brew. Just black, no ice, nothing in it. And I'm gonna put all of them in cups and mark on the bottom what it is and then have Anthony like rearrange them. And then I'm gonna taste test them and see if I can see which one is which and see which one's the best and which one's the worst. All right, I'm gonna write a D for Duncan, an S for Starbucks, and an E, okay, no, a C for Chamberlain. Now I'm gonna dump them in. One of them smells horrible, I will say that. We're doing a science experiment. I'm gonna bring them over to the table and then have Anthony rearrange them. Anthony. I also got, I'm gonna do the exact recipe that she uses for her cold brew, her, her coffee. And I already had this Nut Pods Original Creamer, which is the one she uses. And I went and got this Califia, Califia Farm, Cal Califia, Vanilla Almond Milk. This is the one she used in her video. And I'm gonna try exactly how she likes it. Let's go. Okay, Anthony rearranged them. I have no idea what is what. I'm kinda nervous, like what if, like, what if hers is like really not good or like something, you know? Let me smell them first. I like to smell things before I taste them. Okay, they all smell very different. Oh, that was so disgusting. Oh my God, that's so bad. I'm not kidding, taste this. I feel like I need something to cleanse my palate. What if that was hers? I think it might be Starbucks. Okay, this one's my least favorite. These two. None of them 
really good because I don't really like cold brew by itself. I think this is Starbucks. This is the worst one. Yep. I put an S. Starbucks. And then I'm gonna say, I don't know which one I like better. They're both kind of similar, honestly. These two are kind of similar. I think this one's Duncan though, and I think this one's Chamberlain. Yep, I was right. These two are kind of similar if I'm being honest. This one though, it has less flavor and it's like a little smoother because it's not as like coffee tasting. But this one has more like, it has more flavors. Basically, Duncan just tasted like a watered down version of Chamberlain coffee. Okay, I put ice in the cup. And now we're going to add the Chamberlain coffee. And then we're going to... Introducing the shake weight. Just grab the piston and go to work. One handed or double fisted. Add the almond milk she uses. I'm definitely a sweet coffee person, so I don't know. We're just gonna have to taste this. Taste test this. I've never actually had this almond milk. It smells like kind of smells like vanilla bean ice cream. Hmm. Okay, pouring it in. She does that like there-ish. And then not pod, creamer. Adds on top. Oh, I look this. We're gonna mix it. Okay. I don't think I like that. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't think I like that. I'm gonna try it with the creamer I normally drink and we're gonna see if I like it then because I've had nut pods before and it's like not bad. It's just not sweet, which I like sweeter coffee. Personally, I can drink coffee with just a little bit of sugar if it's like good coffee. I don't know though. I'm not really tasting the coffiness in this if I'm being 100%. So I'm gonna dump that in there and I'm gonna try this with my normal creamer. This is the creamer that I normally use it's the white well, I normally just use almond milk vanilla creamer like any brand but the, this is the silk one it's pretty good and it's sweet so let's try this instead because I'm just not a fan of her mixture it's not good to me no offense to anyone who likes it but it's kind of just bland like there's no flavor there's no flavor I'm just trying to be a hundred percent honest right now that's way better. I feel like the Starbucks coffee is still in my mouth. It's messing with me a little bit. That shit was disgusting. Starbucks cold brew is not it. Like Dunkin' Donuts cold brew is way better than the Starbucks cold brew. This is pretty good. Oh yeah, it's really good. I definitely taste like the nuttiness in it. And I guess like the cherry a little bit. I don't really taste the chocolate. But like it doesn't taste that much different from like a normal coffee. So I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't buy this again to be 100% honest right now. I think it's amazing that she like did this and that she made her, like coffee is like her favorite thing. I think it's cool that she like get a company out of it she's making bank and that's great but like i probably wouldn't buy it again it's like good but it's not like all that it's like all right it's not the best coffee i've ever had in my life i feel like i need more creamer i would say try it but i'm just gonna be honest here i probably wouldn't buy it again because it's like kind of, it's it's not super expensive but it's not worth it to me because i can just i have a keurig and i can just make keurig coffee and it isn't like if it was like oh my god this is so good then yeah maybe but like it's it's not that different and I did not like her coffee recipe at all. That shit was so bland. Like, I feel like people are lying when they drink that shit. It's decent. It's good. It's just not, I wouldn't do it again. Sorry. This cup is cute as heck and I'm gonna use it all the time. And I don't regret buying it, but I'm not, probably not gonna buy it again. That's it for this review. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about the coffee, let me know and I'll answer them in the comments. And I love you guys and have a great day. Bye. I really look high right now, but I'm not, I promise. Wait, babe, come try it real quick before the camera dies and give you a review. Thumbs up. This is her coffee with the, this creamer. How you feel? Yeah, boy.